I hate this. I hate Hi it. Hi there, hate boys and girls. We're having top problems here. Mr. Yes. Johnson opened some chili oil and it squirted all over everybody and put Miss Doris's eyes out. She is on her way to the I hospital. I am now the hot thing everybody has always thought I was. <laughs> we really didn't put Miss Doris's oh, eyes out. She's no, here. She's, she's alive. Here. She's well. She is. She Where's is. my pan? And don't I look oh, good? Here we are. Can you believe it? Since last week, I've lost 35 pounds. Which lake you've lost 30 pounds? <laughs> That's what I was going to say. They had to pump the juice out That's of Mr. Right. Johnson. In I the had hospital. another bad flare up of congestive heart failure. They had to work about 50 pounds out of, of fluid out of my body. Well, you'll be happy to know, having told me that, that we have some bacon here ah! frying on the stove, <laughs> which is going to be a part of my recipe. Well, what are we doing today? I don't know. Get that come witch on, in here. Come on in here, witchy pitchy. Ooh. Right in the heart. Okay, there we go. Let's see. Excuse me, I'm sorry, I just got busy. I have to melt some margarine. Dear guys, I don't know, there's just something fishy about you two. And that reminds me, Maw Maw keeps a catch and catfish over to the water treatment plant lagoon. Can you come up with some kind of new catfish recipes and maybe something to go with them? Thanks, Ivory Scales of <laughs> Roanoke, Virginia. Now, what'd you say about legumes? Uh, no, no, lagoon. Oh, lagoon. Yeah. I thought uh, we were going to eat peas. So I, I'm going to do Cajun catfish. Well, I'm going to do Lair's Famous, been frozen in the freezer for two weeks now, <laughs> baked hominy and cheese. See, what happened? We had. A little interference in our taping schedule, ladies and gentlemen. And then Mr. Johnson had to have his body pumped out. And thank you for doing that. I appreciate it. And so what happened was what we're going to eat today, yeah. we're going to find out whether a hominy dish can really be frozen. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking a little shiny today. Can yes. you tell I was out in the sun working yes. yesterday? No, I can just tell you're a little oh, shiny. I am a little shiny. Mm -hmm. Where's a makeup person when you need them? You never find them around here. They're, they they keep working on some of the gals back in the now back. Now someone will get on to me because of It's a full time job. What, what are you doing? Uh, this this is uh, Marilyn Bain, Ed and Marilyn Bain I've known for years down in Lynchburg, Virginia. They used to come to the chili cook-off up in these parts. Oh, yes. And, and uh, Marilyn that. has sent in this uh, catfish Olay, and it's a spicy catfish dish, and I'm going to do it like she said, and I probably won't like it because I don't like that spicy a thing, but it, it, it sounds wonderful. Well, I'm doing something called baked hominy and cheese. Now, I have memories of hominy when I was a kid. Now, of course, you get grits, which is a form of yeah. hominy, but it's a civilized version of it. When I was growing up, Tootsie used to get this stuff out, yellow hominy out of a can, oh, pretty much like this one. Yes. And she would fry this stuff in grease until it could not absorb any more grease whatsoever. And then we'd pour more grease on it and eat it. And uh, so I have great, great memories of uh, <laughs> the sneezing bunch here today. Have you noticed that? Everyone's mm -hmm. got the sneezes. Um, what's happened is when the show is being taped, spring has sprung. And so has all the pollen, and so everyone is going crazy. But anyway, we used to eat this stuff, and I remember it had a real gritty, I guess that's why they yeah, call it the hominy it. grits. Yeah, I hate it. Just Now, grits I like grits, all right. yeah. But anyway, but, we're going to take this stuff and try and civilize it today. And it was sent in by Glenna Dunlap of North Tazewell, Virginia. She invented the Dunlap tire. As oh, I recall. we said who that and was. And then coming in here later on today is the very lovely Doris with her macaroni pepper salad sent in. There's a, I don't know, I wish I, I liked peppers better than I do, but you know, they just do a number on me so bad, and I frankly don't ever have the time to, to you know, roast them and pull the skin off, which I understand takes care of it. Now the first thing I have to do for my recipe is take three slices of bacon and fry them real golden brown. Whoops, that looks like four, doesn't it? Well, I might just have to eat that fourth one. Oh. But I have done something extremely stupid. Well. well, once in a while you do. It calls for 12 ounces of processed American cheese cubed. And I picked up what I thought was a big old hunk of American cheese, and it turns out that each and every one of them is wrapped individually. So I'm having to open each one and put it down here. But I'll tell you one thing, when I chop it, it's going to be chopped real well, because well, it'll be falling into a million little pieces. Mr. Johnson, would you like a piece of this? I know how much no, you love no, cheese. No, no, Well, how about some bacon? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> how about I run up you know, some bacon I'd grease love it, gravy? But... I'm going to make some bacon grease gravy as soon as I get finished here today. <laughs> Do you have any flour? 
Now, so. I've got in my frying pan over here two tablespoons of olive oil and a few, uh, maybe a quarter teaspoon of chili oil, hot oil. I always liked olive oil. Spicy, spicy. She was a good spicy. woman. Yeah, she was. Popeye just kind of wore out. <laughs> well, let's not talk about that. Well, but anyway, so what are you doing now? Well, I got to have half a red onion. This dish is not cheap. Uh -oh. I'll tell you, at this time of the year, now, if, if we were taping this uh, taping in the fall of the year, which we're not currently doing, well, the there spring. for a while it was starting to look like <laughs> yeah. it might be. But um, if we were doing it then, it would be a lot cheaper because these red peppers and yellow peppers wouldn't be so terribly expensive, but they, they cost like the Dickens right now. Well, I tell you, I've got this thing on real slow, slow, slow. I, the other thing I had to do was melt a little bit of margarine, oh, uh, about a tablespoon of butter of margarine melted. I'm going to put that in there, and we're going to take an egg and break it in there and, and, and smack it around real good and make sure that it gets nice and all scrambled up. And then we're going to start assembling other things in here, too. So, well, that's real attractive. So anyway, take that and put it in there and just beat up on it a little bit. And in a couple of minutes, we'll add a few other things to that bowl. <laughs> Sound like Catherine Hepburn. Go ahead, Mr. Johnson. All right. Now, I'm slicing this red pepper into Ooh. little uh, strips. And since they get cooked and then put on top of the catfish, I'm not worrying about making them just absolutely perfect. And you want to get that white liner out of it. I think while I'm waiting for my bacon to get done here, my bacon is going terribly slow. I think I turned it the wrong way a minute ago. You know, the secret to good bacon, I mean, you know, with it getting real nice so you can crumble it all up, is to do it very slowly. Mm -hmm. But I'm now running out of show. Oh, so I no. have got to, well, you know, we've got to get the stuff going because it goes in this recipe and I keep poking around at mm -hmm. it. It's not looking too good. I'm going to take a big old onion and chop it up right now. So Mr. Johnson and Mr. Bly are in the in chopping, the chopping stage. Mode. But I mean, if you're going to get to this point in your recipe, you got to do it. That's right. People say, why don't you have it always pre-chopped? Well, that because this is what you have to do at home. Well, I always say, yeah, is, is, when you walk in your kitchen at home, is your stuff pre-chopped? I doubt it. Not unless you buy it that way. Mm -hmm. and, in, and if you got that lazy, you ought to be cooking at home anyway. Mm -hmm. As I said. I don't have All any right. fresh parsley. I oh, wish yeah. I did, but mine has not poked its head out Lord, of the little I've ground got, yet. I bet I have got two quarts of it outside my, on my patio. Well, I wish I'd have known that. I'd have stopped by your patio on the way over here. Well, I would have been glad to bring it to you. Always willing to share. Oh, me. Now the bacon's going too fast. What a mess. This is right stringy bacon, I might add. Cheap bacon. Cheap bacon. I had a bunch of friends in a couple of weekends ago, so I went out and got the cheapest stuff I could get. Fed them all for little or nothing. Now I'm paying dearly for it here. There we go. Well, the, was the mad Russian, Sergei Trubatsky? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he was in town. All right. Chop, oh, chop, oh, chop. Oh, oh, well, I'll go oh, on ahead yeah. and chop this stuff, too. You're supposed to cube this uh, American processed che cheese. So uh, this makes it right easy when you've got all these little stacks. <laughs> Let me get over here and get, hard my, way to do it, isn't get it? my fish. Now, what kind of fish are you doing this is today? Catfish. I thought that I saw you down by the Roanoke River earlier today oh, trying no. to catch this. Did I? Yes. But I, I read in the paper last week, and this is the truth, that a lot of places they're running out of stuff, and now they're they're eating carp. Oh no! And you know the Roanoke River is famous for its delicious carp. Oh, uh, okay. So uh, could have fooled me. Yeah. Is that what the, all those people standing down by the bridge no, are doing all the time? they're fishing for trout. Oh, okay. All righty. Well, I'm just chopping up on this cheese right now. Got it all cubed fairly nicely, and I'm watching my bacon, which is starting to get ready to put off the entire fire alarm system here in the building. Wouldn't that be something? Everybody have to go running out mm -hmm. on the parking lot. Yeah, that'd be a sight well, to see. That's looking right good. That's looking real good. But I have mm -hmm. to really watch it carefully at this point. 
Oh, we're going to have some good old gravy come up here in a couple of minutes. <laughs> it's not on the menu. I think I'm just going to make it. Do we have lots of salt and pepper? Because I need that. Mr. Johnson won't be able to eat this, I'm sure. But I will. Thank you. Do you have the salt and pepper? Mm-hmm. Do you need it? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Here you go. Salt and pepper. Thank you. Come to supper or something. Right. Now, let me see over here. What do it say? Do you have a plate? I need a plate to put this on, if you don't mind. I, this stuff is now thoroughly done, and what I need to do is put it off on a plate and absorb some of the liquids. I'm going to cut that back just a little bit and uh, put it off to itself because you're going to have to crumble this up and put it into the recipe. So best thing to do at this point is to put it on a paper towel. It's just right to the crumbly stage. There we are. You remember the crumbly stage? I you do. used to appear on the crumbly stage. Yeah. Periodically. With uh, what, what is her name? Uh, the, uh, the turkey hunter lady. Uh, <laughs> Sherry. Sherry, Sherry Crumbly. Sherry Crumbly. Friend of ours. That's right. All right, now let's see. Now I've got to put on here some cayenne pepper, salt. All right, let's put a little salt Isn't on here. They're pretty. They're just done to a turn. They're just beautifully done, beautifully done. There they are, gorgeously. You got to get them that brown and I've taken all the grease off of them. Speaking of grease, that stuff is coming on, isn't yep. it? I think yep. I might just... Uh, Mix up a little gravy while I'm here today. I'm just in a gravy mood. Tootsie used to say, my dear old sweet Tootsie used to say that poor people eat gravy and rich people eat grivy. <laughs> I ah. never could figure out what it meant, but anyway. All right, now here comes the nasty part in mine, folks. All right, now the, these fillets of catfish, skin side down, please, have uh, I've gotten them with the uh, salt and pepper on them. And now you get your cayenne pepper. And I'm saying go easy or they'll be virtually impossible to eat. All right, there's that. Now she also called for another high priced product. This is uh, put out by one of those uh, Louisiana Chefes. I have to drain some hominy out of the can. That's what I'm doing right now. Oh, okay. Well, good. I'm draining the hominy. This is from that big heavy set one. What's his name? Paul Prudhomme. Mm -hmm. Some of his stuff. This is Cajun magic for seafood. Oh, look at this. It's getting ready to be gravy, Mr. Johnson. Look at this. Take a look down in there. Uh -huh. I've browned that up real nice. Have a little brown roux going right now. And now we're going to throw the stuff to it. Ooh, All right. Now that's going to be nice. Yes, it will. Now I have to take my vegetables that are over here in this oil and put them over the top of the catfish. Now watch Doris jump when I say this. Doris, I need some... Uh, so, uh, what do you plastic wrap? You know, I'm so busy playing with this gravy, which I'm looking forward to, that I don't know whether I'm going to get around to finishing my recipe, which I haven't worked on very hard since I've been here. Mm -hmm. I think I better get back to work. What do you need? Just some saran. Wrap. I'm opening two cans of hominy, and I've got to drain them. I have discovered that the, the yellow hominy, by and large, you have to drain more than the white. I don't know why that is. Huh. This is a one-hand drain. See how easy that is? <laughs> okay, that goes into the egg mixture and the margarine. I have two different kinds of hominy. I thought I'd make this real pretty doesn't matter. Hominy is hominy, folks. It doesn't matter whether it's yellow or white. And so I'm doing a little mix of both, to be honest with you. Oh, good. The next thing you do is you put uh, your onion in there. This is, at this point, you have the egg in there and the margarine in there. And now you want to take all of your cheese and your onion and put that in there and mix it up real good, too. So we're going to do that. 
put that, I'm gonna put most of the cheese in and I'm gonna save some put on top. That's what I'm gonna do, sprinkle some on top. This is what I'll do. So anyway, mix that up with how much milk, I need some milk in that and I've forgotten how much milk I need. Three quarters of a cup of milk goes in there. Three quarters of a cup. There we go. And I don't have any fresh parsley today, Ooh. so uh, what I've done is I've brought along some canned parsley. Oh, my gravy's looking real pretty. <laughs> gravy check, gravy check. Oh, yes, it smells good too. Mm. That's gonna be real nice. Let that stuff roll just a little bit and thicken. Okay, mix all this stuff up in here. I'm afraid by the time I get finished with this, people won't know whether they're making hominy or gravy. Uh -huh. You know, I think I better cut that off before I burn it. Now, take a baking dish and just spray it a little bit with a little bit of, just a little of this stuff, fat-free cooking uh, spray, so that it will not do anything. And you know, the one last thing I need to put in here before I uh, put it in there is I need to take the bacon now and crumble it up real good and make sure it goes in. And we're gonna sprinkle a little parsley flakes in there. This smells like a great recipe. I don't know, I never particularly cared. I love grits, but I never liked hominy. Well now, I'm gonna tell you the truth. I've never had hominy. Well, I always right. refused to eat it when grandma made it. <laughs> Not too bad. Not bad at all. <coughs> Tucci used to do a pretty good job of it. I just mm -hmm. thought it was always real gritty. So anyway, mix that all up real good. And now you're just gonna pour that in here. I met some guy in the grocery store the other day that said his mother made corn muffins and used grits in them. Oh, really? And so he's supposed to send it to us. All right, put I that in there. I don't believe I've ever had gritty corn muffins. And I'm going to take the rest of the cheese and sprinkle it on top. Doesn't call for that, but it's not going to hurt it. No. Certainly. And Did you cut the paper in between all those slices? <laughs> <laughs> Might have. Maybe I did. This is just a garnish? Yeah. Okay, so just a little bit on top. And there you go. Now, you bake that <coughs> uh, 350 degrees, 45 minutes. <coughs> and all that cheese will just be all melted up in there. Oh, look at this gravy. Mm. Mm. I do believe I need something to put that gravy in. Besides my stomach, I mean. I have to wash my hands. Johnson, Go do ahead. something quick. Well, I'm having to have a cough drop. I'm allergic to everything in the world. You know, when I was a kid, I was never allergic to anything. Well, but as you get as older, I that happens. gotten older, I have gotten more and more allergic to tree pollen and mold spores and all that bunch. Why don't we bring the Cook Sisters in, and at yes. the same time, while the Cook Sisters are here, we will sneak the very lovely Miss Doris onto the set. Yeah, And she'll tell us what she's got. So here they come. Shuffling down the hall. Right into your television set. Say, Toots, you know, that carrot salad you served me, well, what are you doing? I was that, gonna smack you to oh, get your attention and, well, never that mind. That carrot salad you served the other day, the carrots were so bad and I knew you grew them yourself and you'd stored them down in the basement for the winter. Huh? But you don't have to do that. Oh, They'll taste much heavens. better if you grow young carrots. Just leave them out in the garden all winter. Just mulch over the top of them, and when you want them, go out and pull them up through the mulch. That's the best way to have good-tasting carrots during the winter. His face is seven inches wide. Well, Hers. Somebody's. <laughs> I'm Sister Cook. <laughs> I'm Tootsie Cook. And, and we're the, the Cook sisters. sisters. Oh, there's something. They're wonderful. Well, hi, Miss Doris. How are you? I'm just fine. You and I sort of... Yeah, bl yeah, almost blend together. I look a little faded next to you, though, don't I? Usually. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. No, Doris, no, you, you got on lovely. baby pink. That's yeah. right. And Larry's got on and I got all, I got elderly pink. Elderly pink. <laughs> <laughs> That sounds good. Because <laughs> uh, this this uh, Sunday, Harold and I celebrate our 48th wedding anniversary. Hey, let's hear it for them. Hey, oh, 
I'm telling you, it's a miracle. And they said it wouldn't last. They said it wouldn't last. And it is a miracle because they didn't. We didn't think he'd be here for the 48th. Well, we're proud but, of uh, here. But he's here, and he was supposed to go fishing, but the dam broke, <laughs> and all the fish went away. So he had to take me out to dinner instead. <laughs> But um, I've never I, heard her talk like that. I it know. really, it really, it really did. They called it the damn broke and the fish were gone. Oh, but don't so. say it again. You can't say damn broke on the That's air. That's all right. Okay. I'm to make some macaroni. And we know um, you're not anyway. <laughs> no. Are we what you are now? Because we're going to Paris. Well, too. Yeah. Well, these look like some kind of strange eyes. That's what Harold said, and I did. So I put a little parsley on the top of them. So we wouldn't think eyes. they were actually eyes. <laughs> they look like eyebrows. <laughs> but That's I had rare. to make a macaroni pepper salad uh, and it took one small box of shells or any kind of uh, pasta you'd like to have a medium onion chopped one red bell pepper chopped one yellow bell pepper chopped one green pepper chopped one to two cucumbers seeded and chopped two stalks of celery chopped salt mm. and pepper to taste a fourth a cup apple cider vinegar or to taste a half to one cup mayonnaise or salad dressing one large tomato and in the directions it said add the um to, um, eggs, but it doesn't say anything about eggs in the direction, so you could put as many as you want, two to four or whatever. And it, it is a, a very good salad. You make it the day before. See, look, it's got all that nice stuff mm, in it. Isn't that beautiful? And it, it really is. It's a very nice little salad. We had, we had it last week or Great. the week before when we were going to do this. Put my stuff in, you know? in a bowl so that we can eat some gravy with our meat. And thank you very much. I'm going to give you my recipe while we're at okay. it. Okay. Baked hominy and cheese. i got to get it out of the oven. That reminds me. I haven't done that. An egg, two cans. It's about 15 and a half ounces each of white or yellow hominy. I actually did a little mixture of both. Got real wacky. Two ounces of processed American cheese cubed, three quarters of a cup of milk, half a small onion, finely chopped, three bacon strips cooked and crumbled and put it in there. Tablespoon of butter or margarine melted, quarter of a teaspoon of pepper and chopped fresh parsley is optional. I just used a little sprinkled on top. Mr. Johnson, have you given me a recipe? Mar no, in oh, Marilyn okay. Baines, uh, catfish Olay uh, comes in with a pound of catfish fillets. A half a red bell pepper, a half a yellow onion, and a half a red, on I'm sorry, half a yellow pepper, and a half a red onion, all chopped. Uh, one garlic clove minced, two tablespoons of olive oil, uh, a little few drops of hot oil, eight of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, quarter teaspoon of Cajun magic, by Paul Prudhomme, and salt and freshly ground black pepper to taste. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Isn't this pretty? Mm -hmm. This makes a very, very lovely dish. That's, and that's twice cooked. <laughs> well, that is just it exquisite. Is it is, and it's real hot, and I need to get right, over well, here. Just go on. So get on out of the way. Woo! I also need a spoon. I'm sorry. And I've got some gravy for you, Mr. Johnson. Oh, no, I, I mean, think I can pass on the oh, gravy. Oh, no, no, I insist to have a big old bowl of it. It's going to be real I good. I don't think my doctor would approve of it. Too bad we don't have some biscuits to put this stuff Ooh. on. I'm telling you, this is a beautiful, beautiful meal. Thank you. Here. Whew, thank hey, you. Call the drop out on there. Just about to wear me down. Let me give you some of this hominy stuff All and right. see what you think of hominy, being that you've never, it's too hot to pass. <laughs> He's got his little thing on there, and it'll just give you a little, just to see what you think of it. And uh, I'll also get you some of this. Get you one of those eyes. Could I get you some gravy, Mr. Uh, uh, no, oh, no, okay. no, no, no. I insist on All getting right, some Doris, gravy. I need something to serve the catfish with. Uh-oh. Like a spatula. Doris is running, look at her. Oh, it's wonderful when she does that. Well, Doris and I were wondering whether you could freeze this stuff, and I guess we'll find out the yes. answer to it today because it was cooked, frozen, and recooked again today, but it smells right. pretty good. Thank you. That's beautiful. Let me put some gravy on this fish. <laughs> right. I got nothing to put my gravy on. I'm going to put it back here in the corner. This is good gravy. I'm sorry. It is. A Tootsie taught me well how to make gravy, so I make any kind of gravy in the world. Make gravy out of anything. Well, let me try this hominy stuff. And I'm going to try the potato salad. Or macaroni. Thank you, Doris. Mmm. I like. I'd never known she had frozen I like, this. I like the hominy stuff. 
The fish is good. I haven't tried the salad. And the gravy is exquisite. Mmm. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> it's great. We'll see you. <laughs> oh, oh, we'll oh, see you. No, we'll see you. For the next eight, seven, soon. six right. seconds, five seconds, four, you know, we'll see Isn't you. It's funny how time just flies.